Hi everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning in My Place. Um, I'm a physiotherapist in Ballarat and recently was, doing, um, was telling a patient about how to set this all up to keep their lungs in optimal shape given the fact that we're facing a lung crisis with the coronavirus. Um, and so I also made bubble pet devices for all my family at that point in time and I thought, oh well, I might as well share it with you guys as well. So two things, bubble pep and we'll do some exercises for your lungs as well to get them nice and strong for your muscles around your chest. So what's bubble pep and what's pep? Pep's positive expiratory pressure and so when we breathe in and breathe out, our upper airways often shut before our lower airways can fully empty so we don't breathe all the air out of our lungs. So if you can keep the upper airways open with some positive pressure then you'll empty more air out, more air in, it also helps move the gunk around the bottom of your lungs so your phlegm and your sputum and if you've got any plugs sitting in the outer reaches then you can get some air bubbles behind that and it can force the um, sputum plugs up to your upper airways where you hear them rattling and feel them and that's when you cough and cough them out. Really easy to set up. It's a bottle with 10 centimetres of water. I've marked mine off because you'll replace the water every day. 30 to 40 centimetres of tubing needs to be slightly wider than a straw or you'll never breathe out through it. And then you literally just normal breath and breathe out. I won't do a full breath because you breathe out for quite a long time. That's the whole point. Big breath in on the next one. You wouldn't do too many of these. You might do a cycle of maybe doing two or three, but make sure you match that with a couple of big breaths in where you hold them right at the maximum, called sustained maximal, for three seconds. That pops open the little outer airways in your lungs that are the last ones and will help with shortness of breath, moving sputum, all that good stuff that we want to be doing at the moment. So that's bubble pep. Lung exercises. So when we breathe, our normal muscles of breathing don't work when our lungs are in trouble. We use our accessory muscles of breathing. They're things like our trunk rotation muscle, muscles and our pecs and those sort of things. I only had a three kilo weight at home and that's too heavy. These are little muscles, so they need a lightweight, higher reps. I did have one and a half kilos of chocolate buddies in my cupboard. At least this week I do, I don't know about next week. But the exercises are, uh, start at your opposite shoulder, hopefully you can see me, and comes down to your opposite hip. So up and down, just like that. You'll rotate when you do it, because remember they're rotational muscles. You'll be able to do a heap of these, it should be easy. Maybe 30 or 40 of each of them. Up to your shoulder, straight down, straight bicep curl, pretty easy. Third one, opposite hip. If you've got a shoulder problem, you can't do this one, it's too hard. Up and out, really opening out your chest. So there they are, pretty easy. Um, good luck everyone, I hope it helps a bit. You've just seen six weeks of pulmonary rehab, very simplified version, in three minutes. Uh, if you've got any questions, put them on the thread. Thank you, bye.